They smash the sign with their batons. Um, it just makes it really hard for, for us to do things when we're being targeted and taken advantage of. And at the same time, they'll come and ask for footage outside of a crime that's happened across the street and look on our cameras and see that we don't have it or they've come here uh, for t-shirts uh, to wear to their company Christmas party and joked about um, this, the store and the branding and how they love it and, and don't believe in anything that, that's really going on. So it's funny to have officers here collecting gifts around the Christmas time for a party and then coming here for footage for an incident that happened across the street. But then they come here and raid the place and say that we're not willing to communicate in any way, shape or form. So when the Toronto Police conducted Project Claudia, um, they started executing search warrants throughout the city. It's a pretty tight community, word spreads pretty quick. Um, fortunately for us, we closed the store that day. They had a search warrant, they smashed the doors down. Eight months later approximately, uh, we went before the courts. These charges were withdrawn. The police actually gave us back all of our property that was seized except for the cannabis. There was $10,000 in the store and there was $9,800 in the bank machine that we lease from a third party. Now we're seeing the robberies go up. The police are releasing information that's not normally released when other businesses might be robbed as money and stuff like that that they're finding. And I think, I feel that they're putting the business owners and the businesses and the employees at risk. We received a call at the shop here yesterday afternoon from uh, Constable Warnock's 13th Division and was advised that I should turn myself in today at 2.30. Um, he advised my lawyer that I would be charged with the same charges uh, as everybody else who was here on the raid on January 18th and that I would be released on my own recognizance. But when the charges are dismissed, they will be back.